So which sort subject according to you has the highest weightage? In See for P from pediatrics, five or six questions will be asked. ENT, ophthal, five or six questions will be asked. But from forensic, ten questions are asked. So this makes forensic one of the most uh, most important topic for INICT. Which cannot... If you want to study two or three short subjects only, then study forensic along with dermat and then study ortho. These three will form almost a 75 to 80 percentage of As you can see, Dermat highest number of cases and image-based questions are asked. So, so uh, in psychiatry also, there are very f uh, only five topics that are very important. One is uh, schizophrenia or psychotic disorders. Okay. But yeah. mainly you will see that when you solve uh, AIMS uh, from 2019 or 2020 INICT till 23, you will see that most of the questions in psychiatry are repeated. Hello everyone, I am Dr. RMD, Pediatric Resident at PGIMER and Dr. RML Hospital New Delhi and this is the last part of debunking the myth series where we will be discussing INICT PYQ analysis and applying it for revision strategy for INICT 2024. So we have discussed uh, last 15 subjects and we uh, 14 subjects and now we have come for the last uh, uh, five short subjects and here we will be discussing how short subjects play an important role in INICT, how they have played for the past seven INICT question papers and how they will be playing for the upcoming INICT also. So, which short subject according to you has the highest weightage in the uh, uh, INI CET uh, papers asked so far? The answer is forensic. Forensic medicine has the highest. We will see the data. So, according to data, uh, forensic medicine has been the top scoring subject with 67 questions asked in past 7 years that accounts to almost uh, 9 to 10 questions each year. So on an average every year consistently 9 or 10 questions are being asked from forensic. So that's why forensic even though it can be completed in 2 or 3 days you should never leave forensic behind for INICT. See for Pete from pediatrics 5 or 6 questions will be asked, ENT, ophthal 5 or 6 questions will be asked but from forensic 10 questions are asked. So this makes forensic one of the most uh, most important topic for INICT which cannot be missed at all. Then comes anesthesia. Uh, Anesthesia, uh, least number of questions are asked, that is 28 number of questions have been asked and that told it shows decreasing trend. Every year one or two questions may be asked from Anesthesia. Radio also shows similar trend. Uh, other top uh, subjects which are uh, frequently asked are Ortho and Dermatology with 42 questions each are asked. Now we will see that uh, from these uh, topics I have mainly seen how many cases and images are asked. From Forensic mainly, nowadays INICT questions are based, asked based on case uh, like for example, a scenario is given especially from toxicology and then you are asked to pinpoint what are the uh, which is the toxin implicated in this it may be some drugs which are implicated or some toxins so case scenarios are very common in forensic medicine also image based questions are also more common however in radiology case questions are upcoming uh, initially uh, INICT questions before 2020 they used to be uh, theory based questions but right now they are asking practical uh, integrated questions from radiology and image based questions uh, as you know must be there from radiology Ortho, again, uh, case-based questions are asked. Uh, psychiatry, case-based questions are less, but in INI, it, they are asked more because Nimans prepares question papers. So they integrate that along with anatomy or maybe medicine. So CNS medicine is uh, integrated with psychiatry. And dermatology also, many image and uh, case-based integrated questions are asked. So here the take-home message is that you should go and read image bank for uh, dermatology and uh, forensic where 10 questions are asked and radio so radio uh, forensic and dermat mainly refer image bank because even if you go through theory everything is asked then if you don't know the images it is uh, if it is a failure from your side okay so this is the topic by distribution so where you will see that forensic has the maximum percentage say forensic if you want to study two or three short subjects only then study forensic along with dermat and then study ortho these three will form almost a 75 to 80 percentage of the total uh, questions that are asked okay and then coming to this is case and image based as you can see dermat highest number of cases and image based questions are asked so dermat is mainly clinical only forensic you will see that case questions are also there and then radio you will see the same trend however in psychiatry image based questions uh, obviously are not there uh, case based questions are increasing so this is, these are the trends of, uh, of each short subject from the past five years that is forensic you will see that there is an upgoing trend so initially some 7 or 8 questions were asked but in last INICT 12 questions were asked. So 12 questions just from forensic. So that forms around 5% uh, uh, of the total question paper. Okay. So Anastasia number as you can see number of questions are decreasing. 
So last INSIT only two questions were asked from uh, eight questions in July 2021 INSIT to just uh, two questions in uh, 2023 November. INSIT. Okay, so Anastasia importance is coming down. Also, Anastasia they are asking uh, more frequently asked questions only. Okay, there is there is nothing new in Anastasia, so you don't have to give much importance to Anastasia. Just read from PYQs. That is more than enough. Radiology, you can see it is a roller coaster. So sometimes questions are going high, sometimes they are low. Most are case based questions only. So if you are doing well in medicine, surgery, clinical subjects, uh, ortho, then you, you can actually just go through image bank of radio. That is more than enough. Okay, don't waste your time. Then ortho, as you can see, uh, questions are fluctuating between six to eight questions. So you, uh, this is a clinical subject. So you can just go through important things in ortho only. Okay, and then psychiatry, very few questions are asked, and it is showing a down uh, decreasing trend. So uh, in psychiatry also there are very uh, only five topics that are very important one is uh, schizophrenia or psychotic disorders okay then uh, uh, depression okay bipolar disorder eating disorders sleep related disorders and psychopharmacology these are the five to six topics which are repeatedly asked and disorders of thought here and there they are asked but mainly you will see that when you solve the uh, aims uh, from 2019 or 2020 INICT till 23 you will see that most of the questions in psychiatry are repeated okay these repeated questions are, are only asked and few tough questions are also asked from psychiatry because Niemans is preparing question paper so you can either go through these PYQs only and then make your concept strong in those topics you don't have to separately go to psychiatry and it because it is not worth it then dermatology number of questions are increasing so dermatology is one subject where you have to uh, read uh, actually understand concepts you have to memorize them and then you have to apply okay uh, images are also very important so image bank is also very important for dermatology so here we come to the end of this debunking series uh, debunking the myth series so here we have discussed how uh, there were many myths surrounding INICIT like uh, first and second year subjects are more asked you have to study more of clinical subjects so uh, preclinical subjects so this is not the case okay we have seen that first year subjects and second year subjects actually carry so much weightage okay and we have seen the top 10 performing subjects in INICIT also we have now I have given you the most important topics from each subject so where to focus on from each subject so according to that you have to devise your revision strategy in the last one month okay and uh, you should have a vision okay we are stubborn on vision we are flexible on details so i am giving you the details you have a vision so combining this you can actually uh, gay uh, you can actually achieve your dream that is uh, to crack INICT. again i repeat INICT, uh, you should be in the top notch okay or else uh, it's very difficult to qualify so based on my comments in the previous videos, uh, I have received so much comments regarding uh, uh, one uh, neat PG uh, revision strategy. So just as I did for INICT, many people are asking me to uh, do a video for NEET uh, and continue with the pediatrics and biochemistry, which I had already discussed in my pre pullman strategy to continue those things. See, I had given you strategy. So according to that strategy, you can follow uh, as uh, uh, follow the same strategy. Okay, follow the same schedule. Uh, you should come up with new ideas according to your own okay i'll be releasing uh, soon one more video where i'll be discussing all subjects according to uh, pyq analysis and what you have to study okay so till then be tuned and also uh, i have i have already already mentioned my uh, contact email id uh, where you can uh, address your queries so i have got many queries and uh, most of them i reply i think uh, uh, i have replied to most of them and wh whoever has not seen all my videos i have uh, replied to that to specifically what my videos so before giving a comment just go through my videos and check whether you have uh, actually gone through those videos or not if you have not then go through those videos most of the queries which i see uh, on my email are the ones which can be addressed just by watching the videos whichever are not addressed by the videos i actually uh, specifically reply you back okay so upcoming will be coming with the video on neat uh, discussion also and also uh, a video on how to attempt INICT okay since there is new INICT pattern so I will be coming up with strategy on how to attempt with new INICT pattern exam exam pattern and what you have to do in the last one week of INICT exam okay thank you